How does it feel to hand the ball off to Jerome and watch him run 75 yards for a touchdown? Yeah, um, coming in, you know, this week after game plan, obviously, um, we knew they were going to be in a lot of three down. Uh, and we were going to trust in our big men up front. You know, our big men did a great job on both sides of the ball, moving the uh, line of scrimmage. And, and really, that's where we obviously pride ourselves on as a team, to be an O line, D line driven program. You know, they really stepped up for us and, and made us really easy to, to, to get in progression and, and get going. Are there, whether it's a three man front or something, are there plays where you're like, if we block right, this one can go, or, or is it almost like an any given play situation? With any given play, if we if we can execute, that play is gonna that play is gonna be exciting. That's for sure. Talk about your relationship with Alec Pierce coming this far now. This is third straight game of 100 plus yards. Talk about the connection you guys have going in forward. Yeah, no, me and AP have had a have a great connection. You know, ever since he's got here, um, he, he came in with Ben Bryan, and you know, me and Ben were good friends and. Um, you know, off the field, we just always were together. You know, we were together out golfing uh, and together just working out every time. Um, so, you know, we've kind of had a connection ever since he's been here. Um, he's a guy I've trusted that I know can go up and just go get the ball um, when you throw it up. And, you know, we've just had a great connection over the past years. And uh, it's just shown up in games. Is there something defenses are doing covering him differently recently that's allowing you to find him more? Uh, no, today, you know, we just gave him a couple of other hitches. Um, and then there were a couple whole shots in there, um, a whole shot on the first play, and then there was another one down on their sideline later. Um, so, you know, just find a way to get him the ball. Um, yeah. How cool to see, after all he's been through, Chuck break one out and take it to the house. Jerome said it was like uh, Forrest Gump breaking off the new races. Yeah, no, I'm happy for Chuck. You know, he's put in so much work, and then every time, you know, it's his time to go, just something had happened. Um, so, you know, we're just blessed to have Chuck with us. Um, and, you know, he's a pre his presence is definitely felt out there on the field. Um, and, and he's just worked his butt off um, to get back to where he needs to be, to get back to 100%. Um, and, you know, we're just glad he trusts himself and we definitely trust him. Did you feel it was coming? Oh, like, yeah, it, it, was just, it was just only a matter of time. Um, and, you know, those are the ones that you hand off and then you can just see him squirt and then get up through. And those are fun. Tyler had a great run after the catch. Can you talk about what you saw from him and the move he made at the 10-yard line? Yeah, so um, that play call was designed to, to, to go to AP or LT into the boundary. Um, and, and they played more of like a cover three look um, and dropped that dollar safety all the way in, all the way out for the post. So I came back to, to the field free access and he was wide open coming out of the break. Um, gave him a ball and he made a man miss. And, you know, honestly, I you know, kind of saw him right kind of towards the collision. And you know, I kind of started to look for the for the next play, for the next signal, and the next you know, I hear him break off and, and go, and you know, I was like, man, go for him. That, that's great. Feel good to have Nip at Night back. Oh, it felt great. Huge. I mean, huge shout out to all the fans that came out tonight. Um, I know we were sitting in the right there on the bleacher, and it was like it was early, and you could see people walking across the bridge, but then you would look around, and there'd be no seats, and so you're like, where are all these people going to go? Like. And no, they were great. The noise was rocking. The student section was great, and we were loving it. How important has fan energy been for you this season? Oh, it's been huge, especially you know coming off COVID season, um, where you know we got a couple, a good amount of fans right towards the end of the season. Um, but early in the season, there were no fans, so you know just having that energy, um, getting back going, you know, it, it makes it a lot easier for the team. Even when you might be in a down spot, and you just hear your fans behind you. It helps. Coach Nichols talked a lot about that complete game, all four quarters. Obviously a big win last week, but was tonight maybe as close as you've come to putting together four consistent quarters? In the first five games, for sure. Um, there's still a lot of things we can work on, still a lot of things we can get better. Um, but I feel like, you know, from, from start to finish, from old guys to young guys, um, everyone came in, did their job, um, knew their role, and, and we came out with a win. So you got to look at it as a positive. Um, but also in the end, you know, I think we're going to come back, we're going to watch this film, and there's going to be a lot of things that we left out there and that we can, you know, improve on. What's it feel like going through a third quarter like that where it feels like everything went your way? Feels good. Um, feels like that's everything we worked on. Um, you know, Coach Fick talked about earlier in the week, make sure that we come out here, start fast, and really finish the whole game and, and stay consistent through. And I feel like we did a great job of doing that. And, you know, it feels good when you play good. When you are on the sideline and get the chance, Desmond, how, how much enjoyment do you get out of watching your defense? Oh, a, a huge enjoyment. Um, it makes you know my life a lot easier. 
um, to know that we have you know a great 11 guys out there to, to 20 guys who can rotate in that is going to lock things down. Um, so it's just fun um, when, I, when I do get to watch them um, to really just see them wreak havoc in what they do. We only get to watch you once a week at practice, but you were really spinning it Tuesday. You probably had a couple of good games. Do you feel like this is the best you've ever thrown the ball? Uh, yeah, I felt good. I think the, the EQ guys did a good job of scrubbing the balls too, so that they were feeling really good um, to, to throw. So, um, yeah, but. 1-0 and in conference play. I mean, a win is great, but how important was it to get off to a great start inside the conference? Uh, it's huge for us. Um, you know, that's just 1-0. You know, a lot of people look at 5-0. Uh, for us, we're 1-0 right now um, going into conference play. So, you know, like I said before, we take it week by week. Um, go here and prepare for a, another big game, another home game that we got um, against UCF. You know, they're going to come in here hungry. So, you know, we're just going to prepare like we do every week and come out here and play a good game. Coach said he's not thinking about style points. Are you thinking about style points at all in these games? No, and I don't think anything out there was style points. I think everything out there was just execution. Um, and, you know, that's just what you're expected to do when you come out and execute and play the game you're supposed to play. Um, so I want to say style points is a thing or a big thing. You know, if you execute, you execute. That's all there is to it. But is it um, satisfying that when, you know, this is the game of the night, I mean, every fan's watching this one. Is it nice to put a performance out there on both sides of the ball? Is that yeah. impressive? Yeah, uh, for sure. Um, and, you know, sometimes earlier in the hotel, you know, we were sitting thinking, um, on what would be a Friday night for us if we played on Saturday. We'd be at a hotel, you know, with on the, the projector and there would be a game going on. We're like, man, everyone's like really watching us right now. And, and so it's good to go out there and put on a complete game, you know, whether no one's watching or whether the, the whole world's watching. Any more questions? Thanks, Ted. Yeah.